Not the only manager under the microscope. There's Ernesto Valverde's future to consider. Well, his president has given him the uh, the dreaded vote of confidence. He's the coach we want, says uh, Ratomo. He is under contract and we are very happy with him. We joke about the dreaded vote of confidence, mm -hmm. Ali. Uh, <laughs> is, is that what this is? Yes. And, and I do think that when you evaluate Valverde and you see that he's won the league and then mm -hmm. you see the thing, the positive things that have happened with Barcelona under Valverde, but you also have to evaluate that on back-to-back -back years in Champions League, his team, mm -hmm. the one that he puts out there and the one that should be ready to play by him, goes out and, and they do what they do in the second legs against Roma last year and, of course, against, Juve, against Liverpool this year. To me, there are three things or three moments in which managers can truly affect a game. Of course, there are the substitutions that you make as a manager that's going to affect a game. At the beginning of the game, prior to jumping out on the field, you can affect the game. And then at halftime, you can affect the game. If you evaluate Barcelona against Liverpool in this second leg that we just saw a couple of weeks ago, not ready to play coming out of the locker room, you can put that on players, but you can also put that on the manager. And then going into halftime with a chance to make adjustments, you do exactly the same thing that was getting you killed in the first half. You mm -hmm. go ahead and continue to do that in the second half, expecting a different outcome. Of course, that did not happen. And then 10 minutes into that second half, they're down 3 nothing, and everything is out of their hands. Now they're chasing it. To me, that in itself, that alone, should be looked upon by Bartomeu and by Barcelona as a fireball offense because it happens on back-to-back -back years. Mm. But he's the coach they want, the president says. Well, so. <laughs> right. And if you continue on the quote, he also says, well, you know, we're still trying to recover from our European uh, disappointment. <laughs> See, the league, as, as, as important as it is for Barcelona, when this happens on back-to-back -back years, that's when it becomes something that I don't know how Valverde actually sustains this. Two, two pretty good years domestically, yep. but two awful games yep. to and go out in the Champions I League. I couldn't agree more with Ali. I was on, the, I think, the show the night before, and I said the one way that Barcelona can lose the game is if they try and play out from the back, they play into midfield sloppily, mm -hmm. Liverpool press the ball, get the crowd going if they, if they get it back quickly. They've got to go that little bit longer. They've got to bypass the pressure. They didn't do that. They, they played into the hands of Liverpool. As Ali said, they didn't change at half-time. And you could sense, after about 15, 20 minutes, that Barcelona was struggling in the game. Mm. And as a coach, you can even do it 20 minutes into the mm. first half. Stick it longer. Stick it in behind the opposition. Let's turn them round. Let's change the tactics. He didn't do that. And you could tell at the start of the second half they were going to lose that time. Robert, we, we, we've played in, in teams where th things have not been, been going well. Surely the players recognise that. Th th these are top, top players. Surely the players recognise But there was a bit of arrogance about the Barcelona players. We, yeah. we, we can keep the ball. But, but the thing is, when you're 20 minutes into that mm. game and you know you're, gonna get, you're getting mm. run over, you've got to pick it up. You, mm. you know yourself, you've got to do something. You don't need the gaffer to say at half-time, hey, boys, we're not, really, we're not at the races. Mm. I, mean, I mean, look, yes, he, he can influence. He's got to, got to drive it into them. But surely the players that we're talking about... Surely they can turn that around, or try to turn it around. But Messi wanted to come back and get the ball. Coutinho wanted to come back and get the yeah, ball. Yep. Suarez was the only player that was trying to run in behind, and quite often he was coming back for the ball. So you're playing the game in your own half, and as soon as Liverpool won it back, that's what they do. They counter-attack quickly, they play at high tempo, and they had to play that little bit longer and bypass the pressure. They I can, didn't I, do it. I can't tell you how important to me it is the fact that this happened on back-to-back -back years. Right. And in very similar same, circumstances. Same circumstances, yeah. So very similar circumstances. And that is when you have to look at Valverde and you have to look at the team and say, wait a minute, is, is this as good as we, is it going to get for us yeah. with this manager or can we improve upon this? For more, sign up now for ESPN+. Plus.